Oh my God, ladies and gentlemen, you want to get angry? Switch on the ABC during this crisis. I tell you what, I think I do it twice a day. I switch my television on to the ABC just to make me angry. And it always does. It always succeeds. So congratulations to the ABC. Today, we're going to talk about ABC propaganda on the report from Tiger Mountain. Stick around. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk about ABC propaganda during uh, this coronavirus crisis. I couldn't believe it the other day because, uh, you know, we all, we all know that bullshit during the fires. Um, there was that ridiculous report. Um, it was on the ABC that the uh, fireys who were defending us from this terrible fires were somehow apparently going home and bashing their girlfriends or their wives. Domestic abuse was this huge problem. And I remember it caused a national scandal because, I mean, first of all, these people would be exhausted. They've got no time to go home and bash anybody. It was complete nonsense. It was a complete example of the ABC inserting their divisive gender politics into something that has nothing to do with this. Uh, and guess what? Of course, it was bound to happen. I switched the ABC on the other day and there for 10 or 15 minutes during the news. I mean, I think it was the 730 report. There was a report on domestic violence. Apparently, you know, I mean, people are staying home to protect their families. They're caring about their families. They're caring about their parents. They're caring about their kids. They're trying to save them. They're in lockdown. They're in isolation. No, apparently domestic abuse was the huge problem. It was, again, just the ABC inserting their ridiculously divisive gender politics and, and politically correct bullshit into the story. And there was no proof of it. I watched the whole story. There was no proof that this was really going on at all. It was just some bobble-headed feminist, feminist from fucking, I don't know, some university somewhere. Okay, so, you know, apparently the woman who, who um, you know, did, did it originally during the fires was Sherelle Moody. I mean, you know, I don't know if it's the same person pushing the same bullshit this time, but it's just ridiculous. It's just, it's just in deliberately trying to insert something into a situation when it's not even a problem. I mean, I mean, there might be some cases of it, probably from men and women who are maybe locked up together. I don't know. There might be some examples of domestic abuse coming from both men and women. I don't know. And if that's the case, obviously, we hope it calms down or we hope people get help with it. But like this report on the ABC was all just, you know, your typical politically correct, inserting your divisive uh, gender politics into something. And also there's another show. It, it comes in, um, I think, after the news or maybe it's even part of the news. The show is called The Virus. You know, I mean, the ABC are having an absolute field day with this virus. They're, they couldn't be happier. But it's just some kind of Indian doctor. And it's not those great Indian doctors that we see on Facebook that say that basically this is the flu and that we've locked down our countries for no fucking reason at all. And that, you know, half the death toll we're hearing all across the world is nonsense. And that, you know, everybody who dies is being reported as corona, whether they did or not. Um, you know, for example, the guy from The Stranglers. Uh, the keyboard player, who was absolutely fantastic, by the way, he's in that song on Golden Brown. He died recently. And I read the report he died of coronavirus. But then I also read he'd been in hospital for six months with heart problems. I mean, you know, maybe the guy just died of heart problems. I don't know. Maybe he was in hospital and he tested positive from for corona. I don't know. But like, again, the way they're labeling everyone. So this show, The Virus on the ABC, it's again, just another scare campaign, another, you know, fear agenda you know, and another thing that ties into that and I often talk about on this show is the new normal. This this kind of scare that we are, you know, that we're going to be experiencing this on again, off again. Not, you know, like when we come out of lockdown, there's going to be a spike and we're going to have to go back in and then there'll be another spike until Bill Gates turns up with his wonderful vaccine. That's probably going to be worse than the fucking virus itself, even if we let that thing run free and get, go for her immunity. So, again, this is more bullshit coming from the ABC. Another thing they always talk about is the second spike. Um, this is not only in ABC media, but they talk about it in, in US media. And, you know, whenever we talk about coming out of this, there's the big talk of the second spike. And people think that it's going to happen around the time of the election of Donald Trump so that, you know, they can have a lot of postal votes and so that they can cheat and uh, install um, that absolute clown Joe Biden or whatever. So, again, be aware of the talk of the second spike. And the other thing that you constantly see coming out of um, the ABC, and I saw that on the drum, is they constantly push Beijing's line. They constantly like, you know, say, oh, don't be so hard on China. Oh, you know, in relation to what we're talking about, in relation to, you know, um, the fact that they caused this, the fact that they were negligent, the fact that maybe they did it deliberately, maybe it was a leak from the Wuhan lab, all this stuff. No, they will not allow this on the ABC. Um, and they constantly want to talk down 
blaming China and, 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 and you know, anything that, that China ever did anything wrong. It's almost like the ABC is like some kind of direct um, broadcast from the fucking Chinese Politburo, and it may well be that, ladies and gentlemen. That's how serious it is. You've got people like Daniel Andrews who are const- still talking up that, that Belt and Road bullshit with, with China. We should get out of that deal immediately. We don't want to have anything to do with some fucking trade deal with China. So anyway, you see with the ABC this propaganda going on and on, and I'm sick to death of it, and I hope you are too. So there it is.